If your Windows 11 PC has started to feel a bit slow, or you've noticed your storage space disappearing faster than expected, this is a very common issue that builds up over time. As you use your computer, things like temporary files and different types of cache quietly accumulate in the background. While they're meant to help at first, too much of this leftover data can eventually slow your system down and take up valuable disk space. One of the quickest and most effective ways to refresh your PC and get that performance boost back is by clearing out the cache and junk files. In this video, I'll guide you step by step through the full process of removing all unnecessary cache files on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 so your system can feel clean, fast and responsive again. First, right clicking on the Windows Start icon and select Run. In the Run box, type Temp and press enter. A folder will open, there it will show you temporary files, now press Control plus A to select everything inside it, then use shift plus delete to permanently remove all those files. When the confirmation window pops up, check the box and click continue. If another prompt appears, check the box again and click skip, then close the window. Next, right click the window star icon once again and open run. This time, type percentage, temp, percentage, and press enter. Just like before, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files, then use Shift plus Delete to permanently delete them. Confirm the prompts the same way and close the folder. By clearing these junk and cache files, you can check your C drive for free space on your drive. For the final time, open Run again, and type prefetch, then press enter. Do the same press Ctrl plus A to select everything that's there and again use Shift plus Delete to remove the remaining files. This completes the cache cleanup and helps keep your system running faster and smoother. Next, we're going to clear out old Windows update files. So open File Explorer, go to this PC, then go to Local Disk C. Open the Windows folder and inside it, look for Software Distribution. You can just press the S key to find it faster. Once you see it, open the folder, then go into download. Everything inside this download folder is made up of old Windows update files. Delete all the files permanently, like you did. When the confirmation prompt appears, simply click continue. This step alone can free up a noticeable amount of disk space. Once that's done, you can close the window. Now, let's move on to the next step. Click on the Windows search bar and type disk cleanup and open it. If you see the prompt, choose the drive you want to scan for junk and cache files. In most cases, that will be the C drive, so select it and click OK. Windows will now scan your system for unnecessary files, including system files and old update data. After the scan completes, you'll see a list of file types you can remove. From here, you can select items like Windows Update Cleanup, Recycle Bin, Temporary Files, Windows Upgrade Logs, and other system log files. Once you've selected everything you'd like to remove, then click OK, then confirm by clicking Delete Files. Windows will begin cleaning up your drive, removing all the junk, cache and temporary files. This built-in tool is one of the easiest and most effective ways to clean up and speed up your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. After that, the next step is to clear the RAM cache. To see what's going on, open Task Manager on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system, then go to the Performance tab and then click on Memory. Here you'll notice that a large chunk of your RAM is being used as cached memory. In my case, it's around 4GB, which can take up a significant portion of your available memory. Sometimes, clearing this cache can really help, especially if your system lag or feels slow. Microsoft actually provides a free tool for this. Open any web browser and search for RAM map. Right at the top, you'll see the official Microsoft link. Click on it. And at the top, you will see download link. Click the RAM map tool. Once the download is complete, open the folder, right click on it and choose extract all. Then click on extract button. After extracting the files, look for RAM map 64 and right click on it and select run as administrator click yes when prompted. You'll now see the RAM map dashboard. Before clearing anything, let's quickly check task manager again. As you can see, the cached memory is still sitting around 4.3 to 4.4 gigabytes. In RAM map window, click on the empty menu and then select empty standby list. The moment you do that, you can see on task manager and you'll notice the cache memory has dropped dramatically down to just 130 megabytes. 
Once that's done, you can close everything. Your RAM cache is now cleared and your system should feel a bit more responsive. So that's it for today guys. These are exactly the steps you need to follow to clear all the cache, junk and temporary files from your system. Doing this can noticeably improve your Windows performance and also free up a good amount of storage space. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.